What's up guys, welcome to Dyna Demos. I'm Rod and today I'm gonna go over five Amazon parts for those guys that are balling on a budget. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. All right guys, so the first part I wanna talk about is the crater fairing. All right, we've had a lot of questions about this. We've put out a video. Um, it's got a lot of views, a lot of comments on it. Um, a lot of people seem to like this. Um, this this is a really good option for those people that want a T-Sport fairing, and I think they make a quarter fairing as well on Amazon. This will retail for about like $90. So if you don't have money to drop on like a good fairing, like a RWD or a JD Customs or a Villain to Hero, or even like a Harley uh, Corp, factory quarter fairing then this is a really good option it's ninety dollars legos put thousands of miles on it um and it stood the test of time so far so my first uh amazon part is the crater fairing all right guys so the second part i wanted to go over is um, some MX style pegs, all right? A lot of people sell these um, and they sell them for like around a hundred bucks. Uh, if you got money to drop on like Flow Motorsport pegs or another uh, brand, I would recommend doing that. But if you are balling on a budget and you don't have that type of money to spend and you want MX style pegs on your Dyna, I would recommend checking out the ones on uh, Amazon. I think I picked these up for like 44 bucks or 55 bucks, something like that. And they have a few different um, styles. They have a few different brands. I think they range anywhere from like 40 to like $60. So my second uh, Amazon part is MX Style Pegs. All right guys, so my third part off Amazon that everybody should check out if they're balling on a budget is a new uh, headlight. All right, uh, we have a video of installing one on our buddy's Dyna. It, I think we went with the Weissmick one, it was like $39.99, and then we did a, a light test with uh, my um, Daymaker, which looks almost exactly the same, and it's like 10 times as much money, and then like Legos Fly Eye, and it, it stood the test. Um, it did pretty well against those, those other headlights. So if you don't have like 150 bucks or like 400 bucks to drop on a headlight then I recommend getting one of those nice ones off Amazon for like you know anywhere from 40 to 60 bucks in addition um, I see a lot of people running light bars and like light pods on their <clears throat> on their Dynas or whatever other type of bike they have and you can buy like light pods and and uh, light bars off Amazon and those run from anywhere from like 10 to 30 bucks and then if you don't want to run the wires um, right into the headlight you can get a harness and that'll be like another ten dollars So those are some options for guys that want to run that type of stuff if they're balling on a budget All right guys, so another video we did when we first started our YouTube channel was how to install hand guards and Lego got JD customs ones and I actually got mine off Amazon I think I paid like 45 bucks for them because we wanted to see we were riding in the winter and we wanted to see if they really worked and uh, I'll be the first to tell you they don't really block a lot of wind <laughs> um, but if you still want them I know a lot of people put them on their bike just for like aesthetics so uh, if you're looking for some hand guards and you don't want to spend the extra like $30 and pay shipping then I recommend looking at ones off Amazon and that goes for all these parts too like you might be able to find some good deals but like not a lot of people um, offer free shipping like Amazon you know if, you, if you're an Amazon Prime member you can order a shit ton of parts get there in two days and uh, you know you don't pay shipping on any of it so those, these are all good options for people balling on a budget so that's my fourth part for people that are balling on a budget all right guys so my fifth and final part for those guys that uh, are balling on a budget are passenger peg mounts all right um these things you know if you buy them from harley or if you buy them from like somewhere else i think they're anywhere from like 75 to like 100 bucks uh you can actually get them on amazon for like I think like between 45 and like $60. So, uh, I mean, I don't think anybody would know the difference if you like get Amazon ones. Some of them I saw on Amazon come with like pegs as well. 
I don't know how good the pegs work, but if you're just looking for these um, and you don't really care about the brand, then that's another good option for people that are bowling on a budget. All right, I just wanted to go over some things like uh, also in addition, like we've had people comment on our page like, oh, why are you running that like cheap Chinese crap or and stuff like that. Um, you know, some guys don't care, uh, but some some people do they only want to put like the best stuff on their harley and they're like loyal to like a certain brand which is cool i respect that but uh you know some things in my opinion um you know you can get off amazon other things like performance parts or like safety related parts you might not want to get off amazon but that's just my opinion to each their own so uh these were the five parts that you can get off amazon if you're balling on a budget all right guys so those were uh, our five parts that everybody should look out for if they're balling on a budget. Like I said, you can find all this stuff on Amazon Prime. Um, drop in our comments or slide in our DMs if you know of anything else that people should look into. So maybe help our viewers and subscribers out. Maybe um, find a part or something that we didn't know about. Also, if you know of any like discount sites or like any good deals going on, Please share that information as well. You know, it just helps guys out and uh, helps them make their dream come true when they're modifying their bike. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Rod. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.